Hello everyone, welcome back to Code with Beto. I hope you're doing well. And in this video, we're gonna learn how to create an APK for Android using EAS Build uh, from Expo. So in this uh, video, we're gonna be building this APK of this application that we create or we learn how to create it in my React Native course. Uh, if you want to check it out, you can go to codewithbeto.dev slash learn and one thing that is important to notice here is that these uh, videos or these lessons are in Spanish. Um, so you, you have to keep that in mind if you are if you want to enroll in this course. Uh, the lessons are in Spanish. I'm, I'm working on translating them uh, to English, but uh, at the moment they are in Spanish. Uh, and basically this application, it's a really nice application because it's a message application that uses cloud services like AWS Amplify. Uh, we, we have features like maps, we can connect with users, we can have many um, chat rooms, we can have many um, conversations with uh, different people or different users. We also have signing with Google, signing with Apple. And here I, I am in the Expo documentation. So Expo offers these services, Expo application services. You, you can go to the official documentation in their application, in their website. Uh, and basically that's how Expo makes their money, offering these services, which are really cool. And you can use them for free if you don't, if you are just an individual like me. So you can go to the expo.dev website and then you can select the Expo application services if you want to learn more about what services Expo offers. As you can see here, we have a EAS build, EAS sub submit, update, and metadata, all right? So today we're gonna be using EAS build, which th this service is basically just building your application for you. So we are going to communicate with the servers of Expo via uh, a CLI, right? So we're gonna need to install EAS uh, CLI in our um, computer. But yeah, you can go uh, here and read more about it if you are curious. So now let's start guys. The first thing that I want to show here is, as you can see, we have signing with Google. And because we are developing with Expo, we cannot uh, redirect the user back to our application once they are signing with Google. For example, here, here, are, here I am in the application of Expo and uh, as well here on iOS, you can see that although it's only chats application, when we are developing, we are in the Expo Go application. So in these uh, cases, for example, if, if we want to sign in with Google, we are going to get an error and it's loading and that's the error. We cannot reload it. Um, redirect the user to the application because we are in Expo, <laughs> all right? So how can we fix that? We need to build the application in order to test this, right? So for Android, we need to make an APK. And for iOS, we need to build the application using Xcode, or you can also use EAS um, services from Expo. But yeah, so the first thing that you want to do is just put my Android device here. We're gonna be focusing just on Android because uh, when you are building an application for Android, you're gonna get an AAB file, which is a bundle for Android um, that is already optimized for the Play Store. But there's a downside with that. You cannot test or install an AB, AAB uh, file in your device so we need to make some configurations in order to um, have the APK, right? So the first thing, like I said, we're going to install EAS CLI. Uh, I already have it, but I'm going to run this command again just to make sure that I have the latest version. Uh, this is going to take a couple seconds. Once we have that, we need to um, create an account on Expo. So if you don't have an account, you can go to expo.dev and create your account. As you can see, this is my profile or this is my account. I have my applications here and the application that I have built. So 
it's important or, or you need your account in order to do this through the CLI. And once you install the CLI in your computer, you can just run the command EAS login. This is going to ask you for your credentials of Expo. And another important command, it's the command EAS Expo Who Am I? This command is going to tell you if you are already logged in. In this case, I am already logged in and my username is Beto Moedano, as you can see there. So that means that I, I don't need to log in anymore because they have already my credentials. And that's the only configuration you need to do um, in order to start using the EIS CLI or in order or before we start uh, building the application, right? So now I'm going to open this on Visual Studio Code and let's start configuring our application or our build for Android. I'm going to move this to the right and this like this so we have more, more space. So the first thing that I'm going to do is it's stop the server um, and as you can see, we, we cannot have, we cannot connect to Metro anymore. Um, now, uh, the next thing that I want to do is initialize my EAS um, configuration in my project. We are going to do that running the command EAS build colon configure, uh, hit enter. And this is, this basically is going to create a JSON uh, file in which you can configure your builds. And as you can see here, um, it's telling us that it's going to apply these uh, changes just to the local files. So we are safe. We can just go ahead and select all platforms, which is Android and iOS at this moment. Uh, so as you can see here on the left side, I have already my EAS.json file. If you don't have it, you just need to select all and this EAS JSON is going to be created for you. Now, I already have this file, so once you have this EAS.json file, you can modify or change your build development settings uh, before you start your build, right? So inside here, we have this build um, part, and inside this build part, we have some configurations like development and preview. And this, uh, in order to build the APK, we just need to specify inside the preview um, the platform that we want to change. In this case, is going to be Android. And we can just say the, that the build type is going to be APK. And that's it. That's all the configuration that we need to do. Now, um, we can also have, for example, development client equal to true. I believe if you have that, you are going to get an APK if you try to build for Android. Uh, although I'm not really sure if you want to, to just make sure that you, you're going to get the APK, you can just um, create your preview and inside Android, you can select the build type to be APK. And that's pretty much what you need. All right. Once we have that, um, that configuration in our, in our EAS.json, we're going to run this command EAS build flag P, which means platform Android, and then flag profile preview. And this preview profile comes from the JSON file that we have here. Uh, as you can see here, sets preview, which means that when we run this command expo, it's going to know that we have some custom configuration and it's going to enter to this Android part and the build type is going to be APK. So that's what, that's what they are going to do for us. Right? So now let's hit enter and this is going to start, um, uploading the files to EAS or the servers of expo. This is going to take a couple of seconds. Once that's done, the build is going to be quoted, right? So because I'm not paying, <laughs> I'm just using the free individual account of Expo. We need to wait a little bit for the build to be done. So once that's ready, we can, we're going to get a link to download the application. So you can send that link to your mobile device and you can install the APK directly to, to your device. Um, 
I already did this build before I record this video, so I already have this file in my computer. Once you have this file in your computer, the, the only thing that you need to do is just drag and drop this file into your simulator. So let's go back here and drag and drop inside my simulator. And that's it. We're gonna get only chat installed in this emulator. So now we can open this application. And now this is like the real application, like, like if we just download it from the Play Store. Now, if we try to sign in with Google, we're going to be re re, um, redirect to this application because the schema is specifying that this application is only chess. Now let's try to sign in because I already um, put my credentials. It's just coming back to the application and signing me in. So I'm already in at this point because it's the first time that I'm opening this application. I need to accept the terms and hit continue. You can rate this uh, agreement if you want. <laughs> if you want to check out the application as well, I encourage you to go to callwithbeto.dev slash learn and you're going to find the links to download this for Android and iOS. We have the onboarding screen and then we get this of um, alert of notifications. And that's it guys. As you can see, we have the post, um, the same post that we have in our iOS device here. Uh, the only difference is that we have dark mode activated on Android and this build is in progress as well. But just to test this application and test that this is working, I'm going to start my Expo server again and I'm going to reload my application on iOS. So let me move this out of the way and reload this application. Nice. Let me take this APK out of the way as well so we have more space to see what's going on here. We have this little warning, don't pay attention to that. Um, and that's it guys. So let's let's try to make some changes. For example, I'm going to like this hello everyone post by me. And now if I reload the iOS application, we see that we have now two likes, which is pretty cool. Uh, we can also, um, for example, make a post or start a conversation with the iOS device. Um, so I'm going to create a post. We can just say something simple like, hey, hello from Android. And as you can see, guys, this is working like we expected. It's working like we have a real device. Um, and there we have the, the post. The, the only difference I would, I would say, and the only reason we had to do this build, it's because we needed to test the signing with Google, right? And sometimes we have uh, some configurations or some features that need the application to be built in order to test what's going on, right? We can, like I said, we can install this APK in your mobile device or you can use a simulator like I do at this point. And now um, we are starting this conversation with Beto Modano, which is my account. And if I go to chats from the Android device, we can see that we have this new conversation with my account from the iOS device. And if I select it, we can answer or we can reply here super quickly. For example, say hello and an emoji, hit send, and we have that message right away. Perfect. So I guess that's basically what I wanted to show you guys. As you can see, it's super easy to build an APK using Expo services. And we also have more, more services. You can check them out in their documentation. It's, it's really nice how they abstract all these uh, configurations and everything that we would have to do manually, they do it for us. Um, and what else I was going to say? I, I also wanted to, to say that if you are interested in this React Native course, you can go to Code with Beto and just check that everything, uh, every lesson is going to be here so you can see exactly what's coming in the course. Uh, the final project is this application. So it's, it's just the final, uh, the final two sections about this application, but everything else, it's uh, lessons specific on how to integrate specific features, right? Or how to use navigation with React Native, how to use the state management, uh, like Redux, how to use hooks with React, 
how to use Firebase, sign in with Google, Facebook, Apple with Firebase, and then we do pretty much the same with AWS Amplify. And finally, the final project. And as a bonus, we have these nice lessons in which we publish the beta version on iOS using test flight. We also use Firebase Cloud Messaging for Android. And that, that is uh, required at this point. We need to make this configuration or this connection uh, for every Android application that uses push notifications. So we have that lesson in there. And finally, we have the integrating, integrating the sign in with Google and Apple, right? We can go to settings, we can sign out and sign in again, just to see that this is working as we expect. We come back, we reload and it's working perfectly right and that's it as you can see here guys um, if I bring back my um, project these uh, these uh, build it's already done and like I told you we have this link the Android um, APK so you can just download it on your computer you can send this link to your device and download it directly and also you can install this um, APK in your simulator by pressing yes in this case so i already have it i'm gonna say no um, but yeah this is how this looks when they build it's done of course this is gonna take like 20 minutes i would say and yeah that's it guys i hope you like this video i hope you learned something new don't forget to give a like subscribe let me a comment down below and i'll see you in the next one as well, don't forget to check out my course. <laughs> Remember that it's in Spanish, but you can check it out. And I'll see you in the next one. Thank you. Bye.